Hello, I'm Mr. Tan here. So today we are doing the Brahmin 6 next and solid figure. So the objective is to identify and draw the solid. So next of solid also, we need to know. First, a cube has six square face. So D is known as your solid. So let's write down S-O-L-I-D, solid. So when it's being cut, okay, along the line and lay flat, okay, we get next. So this is solid, this is next. Okay, besides this, there's other possible nets of the cube. Okay, so this also can form a cube. Here also can form a cube. Okay, you may wonder how is it possible. You can use a, a pencil, okay, draw out. Then after that, use a scissor to cut it, then you fold it. Another way is let this be the base. So what happens is this four side fold up. This will be your top. How about here? Just let any one of the square be the base. So for example, if I let this be the base, I fold up, followed by the other side, fold up. Here will be to the side, here will be to the side, here will be the top. So you can let any of the square be the base. You can let any, uh, any square be the base. Huh? Okay, doesn't mean here must be the base, here must be the base. So this is the possible next second, third, and there are more actually. Okay, other solid that we need to learn is this. This is called a cube board. A cube board has a rectangle. Next, permit. So permit you can find okay, in country like Egypt. So uh, if you have watched a movie, you can see that okay, there's a lot of uh, movie related like mommy. So a permit can be a rectangle, can be a square or a triangle. It can be a five-sided, six-sided. But for P6 text, okay, you need to know about these two. Okay, square and triangle. So for me, basically just all the way to the top of point. Next, prison. Okay, prison, right? Okay, you can find in one of the famous chocolate, like uh Tobolon. Okay, you have eaten Tobolon brand, uh, you can you will see that it's in gold. And the base is here is the same as on the other opposite side. So this is prism. So what is actually prism means is that if the base and the top is the same shape, same size, it's prism. Then after that, you just simply connect them, connect, connect. So we learn about cube, cube void from prism. Another two more we need to know is cylinder. So a cylinder has two flat faces and one curved face, two circle, simply to say. So this is called cylinder. Next, a cone. So cone, okay, is ice cream cone. So ice cream cone is cone. So one flat face is here, followed by one curve. Okay. Okay, now we come to the practice question. Okay, it takes some time to see which of the following is not the next of a cube. So one minute for you to discover, is it A, B, C, or D? Another 10 seconds. So of course in exam, you cannot take a scissor and cut it out. So we'll use the method, having one of the square be the base. So for example, I can let this be the base. So what happened is that this is the bottom, I fold out possible here, flip to the side, possible here, become the top here below. So this is the net of a cube. How about here? So same, let any of the square be the base. So if this is the base, I fold out, fold out, fold out. Here will be the top. Here will be the side. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. So uh, the problem is this here. Correct? So B is not the net. Okay? Because it cannot be fold, it will become a cube. So let's see about C and D. You see, let this be the base. So we fold out. You can close it, close it, close it. Mm. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, correct. So these are okay. Next, D. So D seems complicated. Let this be the base. We fold, fold, fold. Yeah, possible. So if you still cannot, and then I recommend, right? Okay, you train your uh, spatial visualization by having some art and craft. That means you take a ruler and a pencil, draw it out, then you cut it out. So answer is B.
Question two, name the solid form by the net zone below. So, uh, so here will be the base. Okay, then we fold out. So you'll get something that's sharp on the point and it's known as permit. Okay, so how to spell permit? So in PSLE, if you cannot spell the spelling, you also can get, get the mark. So permit is spelled as P Y R A M I D. Permit. Okay, so this is a very simple uh, short topic also. So we come to the test straight away. So question one, which net below does the figure belong to? Okay, take some time to write down the spelling that you learned earlier. So it's known as permit. P-Y-R-A-M-I-D. And so as I say, the permit, the base can be a square or rectangle or triangle. Question two, which net does the figure belong to? So this is known as your prism. Remember prism, you fold it, you will see that the top and the bottom is the same shape, same size. So prism. Question three, how many faces does the below solid have? So one at the base. Okay, why there's a rectangle? Okay, basically trying to tell you that this uh, permit, right? Okay, is uh, standing straight. So this is the base. So there are three sound. So three plus one, four faces in total. Question four. How many faces does a cube have? Take some time to think about it. So a cube is like a dice. So there are six faces. Question five, what is the shape of each face of a cube? So the answer is Square. Question six. How many faces are there in the solid shown? So let's see. The base only one, followed by five on each side. So five on each side plus the base area is six. Question seven. What is the symbol on this face? So what they mean is that here, so, so triangle and square is out. But if you use triangle and square carefully, means that you fold this into a cube. And you will see that Okay, this shape will be appear here. Okay. Question eight, complete the neck. So this is the solid, now we're going to cut it open. Okay, so the neck is to be drawn, same shape, same size as this, followed by this rectangle. Question nine, how many edges does this solid have? So let's point one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so wait, there's a mistake over down here. So what I've done is actually corner. So for eight. Okay, it's this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nine is the answer.
Question 10. How many eggs does this solid have? So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the answer. So now you come to the thinking skill. Question 11. The net drone for the solid below is incorrect. Which triangle A, B, or C does not fit the net of the solid? So A will fit to here, C will fit to here. So B is redundant, extra. So B should not be inside. Question 12. How many more cubes are needed to make this a cube board? So there are two ways. One way is trying to add the cube inside, okay, virtually. Okay, you will get eight. Another way is having the cube board as a final product. So here is three by three by three. So three by three by three gives you total 27 cube. But right here that you see, there are only Eating. Sorry, it's nineteen. So twenty-seven minus nineteen gives you eight. Eight more cube. Get that? So this is the second way they can do. Question thirteen. The figure below is an incorrect net of a cube. Put two cross on the two square face, which are incorrect. So Mr. Tang give one minute to put the two cross. They are incorrect. So the two cross, so remember, you can let any be, any of the square be the base. So in this case, I let this be the base, I write for it. So this the side, 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 this will be the top. So these two are redundant. Question 14. So Tom cut a rectangle, you also cut two circles the same size. What is the solid most likely to be formed by him? So let's see a rectangle and a square. This is the net, and when we follow it, what do we get? So Mr. Tang, give you one minute to do this. So what is the solid that you're getting? Okay, so you need some more here. Mr. Tan will draw the solid out for you to see. So the answer is slender. Question 15. Complete the net of a cone with a height of 4 cm. So the circular base has been drawn. So they want to hide 4 cm. So what I'm going to do is take a ruler, starting from the center. If you don't know where is the center, okay, Mr. Tang, this is your soft cut. Okay, just draw two lines along the line. Uh, oh no, uh, so try to measure, okay. So the point is here. 
So what you're going to do next, use a ruler measure that from here to here is 4 cm. Then now you just need to, uh, oh, okay. Wait a minute. Okay, this is the net. So they want the cone. So when you, the cone is surrounding, right? When you open up, is the circumference. So you should draw the circumference followed by the height for CM. So you should draw a rectangle. Is it? Okay, not really. Mm, let's see the next. Okay, so I think this question got some typo error. So uh, let's change this to uh, Okay, so let's change this to complete the net of a cube. Okay. So maybe we do this, draw the net of a cube with 4 cm, having this at 4 cm. So make sure you use a ruler. So for this, we will take away. So now, okay, connect one, two, three, four followed by five and six. <laughs> so with that, okay, use a ruler, make sure it's straight because Mr. Thunder has a ruler. Make sure it's all four CM. So with that, we come to the end of the lesson. Okay, continue to practice on our e-learning website with studysingaporemath.com. So for question 15, there are more than one possible way. Okay, goodbye.